The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida, with your 9 a.m. update. And currently, we have U.S. equity futures trading to the upside. The Dow's up 240.7 tenths percent. NASDAQ 100, the NQ is up one and two tenths percent, 160 points. The ES Mini, eight tenths or 35 points. And the Russell 2000, about eight tenths and 15 points to the upside. Over in Asia last night, you had the Shanghai and the Hang Seng. Finish higher nine tenths and six tenths uh, specifically uh, over in uh, Europe right now. You've got the DAX up 148 points. That's one percent, a half a percent for the FTSE. That's 39 points to the upside. Gold is off four bucks. Silver down a nickel. Uh, Platinum's off four dollars. And light sweet crude trading out at 91.83. That's back eight pennies out there. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart and interpret what all this means out here. As we begin in the upper left hand corner, you've got the ES mini. What did the ES mini do yesterday? It tested and rejected the bottom of its daily program. Profile. That's 42.58. You can't bust them to the downside. Could be signaling it wants to try to bust them to the upside. The bust them to the upside inside the ES mini would be a descending trend line. Um, and that descending trend line is in the 43, 4400-ish uh, type area out there. But the first level of resistance on any move higher is going to be the center of its daily profile. And that's 43.96. Spot volatility still well above its 50-day exponents moving average. That's always dangerous for the S&P 500, or in this case here, the ES Mini. So any rug pulls, any bad news, and you can see that pull all the way back to retest the support level of its daily profile or the low from January 24th. The NQ yesterday tested the low of January 24th, tested and rejected it on lighter volume, can't bust them down, try to bust them up. Where's bust them up? Well, the first level of resistance is the bottom of its daily profile. That's at the 14,653 level. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's just consolidating with inside its daily profile. Not much to talk about there. Goldilocks attempting to form a new profile, supported 1879.40, resistance 1908.60. It's got an A to B equal C to the upside with a price projection of 1956.40. You got to get a close of 1908.60 in order for that to happen. Silver running right into resistance, a descending trend line. If you can clear this area, this area I'd say it'd be a close above yesterday's high. That would signal a further move higher. Yesterday's high was 24.42. Lightspeed crude still looks bullish out here. It's got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Uh, I believe that is at 93.83 as a resistance level. The price above another level of resistance, that is old support. That is the top of its daily profile at 90.37. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien with the morning market kickoff is up next. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.